Did you know that the world is on the verge of one of its biggest energy shifts in modern history? From the scorching deserts of India to the stormy seas of the North Sea, massive energy megaprojects are reaching critical milestones, projects that will soon power millions of homes, reshape economies, and redefine the future of clean energy. In this video, we're counting down 12 of the most ambitious and game-changing energy projects nearing the finish line. These aren't your average solar farms or wind turbines. These are record breakers, and each one tells a story of innovation, resilience, and global transformation. So sit back, hit that like button, and let's dive in. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. We kick off with India's Kavda Renewable Energy Park, the largest hybrid solar and wind project on the planet. Located in Gujarat, this massive energy zone spans over 72,000 hectares. That's nearly the size of Singapore, transformed from barren land into a clean energy hub. With final components falling into place, Kavda is set to reach its full potential soon, boasting up to 30 gigawatts of capacity. That's enough to power 18 million homes. Its hybrid setup combines wind turbines, solar panels, and energy storage, ensuring consistent round-the-clock power. Kavda isn't just a mega project, it's a model for scalable clean energy worldwide. Next, we head offshore to the North Sea. The UK's Dogger Bank Wind Farm is the largest offshore wind project in the world. Built in three phases, A, B, and C, it's edging closer to full scale operation. Once complete, it will deliver 3.6 gigawatts, enough to power 6 million homes annually. What sets Dogger Bank apart? The Halliade X turbines, each towering over 850 feet with blades longer than a football field, capable of generating 13 megawatts each. It's also pioneering HVDC transmission, allowing electricity to travel long distances with minimal loss. Dogger Bank marks a global turning point for offshore wind. Heading to the desert, Saudi Arabia's Jafura gas field is one of the world's largest unconventional gas developments. Backed by a $110 billion investment from Saudi Aramco, the field is already progressing through major commissioning stages, with a ramp-up in output expected over the next 12 months. The aim? To eventually produce 2 billion cubic feet of gas per day, supporting blue hydrogen production, electricity generation, and reducing oil burning in power plants. Jafura sits at the intersection of fossil fuels and the future. Staying in Saudi Arabia, we visit the port of Niam, where a massive green hydrogen and ammonia plant is coming to life. A joint venture between Air Products, ACW Power, and Niam, this $8.4 billion project will soon be producing 600 tons of green hydrogen per day using solar and wind power. That hydrogen will be converted into ammonia and shipped to global markets. More than just a facility, this is a proof of concept, testing whether green hydrogen can scale globally. If it works, it could transform how the world fuels its industries and transport. Back to India, where a new international airport is taking flight with sustainability at its core. Navi Mumbai International Airport is being developed with its own dedicated solar microgrid, designed to power everything from terminals to airfield lights, all with 100% renewable energy. The system includes solar PV, battery storage, and smart controls, and it's being activated in sync with the airport's final rollout phase. This is a powerful example of how even high-energy sectors like aviation can go green at scale. In the heart of Europe, a bold new skyline is rising. Frankfurt's For Frankfurt development is nearing completion, a smart, energy-efficient urban district combining commercial, residential, and green spaces. What makes it stand out is its deep integration of solar facades, geothermal energy, waste heat recovery, and smart grid systems. Once online, it's expected to cut emissions by more than 50% compared to traditional buildings. Germany is turning real estate into climate infrastructure, and this is the blueprint. 
Zambia's energy ambitions are flowing strong with the Kafui Gorge Lower Hydro Power Project. This 750-megawatt facility is in the final stages of commissioning, marking the country's largest energy infrastructure achievement since independence. Built on the Kafui River, it will reduce reliance on diesel, stabilize the national grid, and enhance power exports across southern Africa. It's not just about power, it's about progress. China is building an energy superhighway. The Qinghai Henan UHV transmission line spans over 1,600 kilometers, carrying clean solar electricity from the west to the population centers in the east. Designed to transmit 8 gigawatts of power, this ultra-high voltage line is undergoing final tests before commercial service begins. It's a key piece in China's national energy balancing strategy, seamlessly integrating renewables into dense urban areas. This is grid innovation at industrial scale. In the Baltic Sea, Poland is making its first big push into offshore wind. The Baltic Power Wind Farm, a collaboration between Orlin and Northland Power, is preparing for final installation stages. Once online, it will deliver 1.2 gigawatts, enough for 1.5 million homes, and serve as a cornerstone in Poland's move away from coal. With 15 megawatt turbines and cutting edge cabling, it's set to become one of Eastern Europe's green energy champions. At the edge of the Sahara, Morocco is building one of the most advanced solar plants in the world. The Nor Midelt project blends photovoltaic and concentrated solar power with battery storage, enabling power delivery even after sunset. The first phase, approaching final integration, will provide over 800 megawatts of dispatchable power. Morocco's leadership in clean energy is shining bright, and Midelt is its crown jewel. In the icy waters of the Arctic, Russia is rolling out a new fleet of LNG-powered icebreakers. Designed by Nornikel, these vehicles will support mining operations and Arctic logistics, running cleaner by using liquefied natural gas instead of heavy fuel oil. Final outfitting is underway, with the fleet expected to be fully operational soon. It's a cleaner, if controversial, evolution of Arctic energy transport. And finally, we head to Sheleftia, Sweden, home of Northvolt Et, Europe's largest battery gigafactory. Production is already underway, with final capacity ramp-ups nearing completion. Once fully scaled, the factory will produce up to 60 gigawatt hours of lithium-ion batteries annually, enough to support hundreds of thousands of EVs. Northvolt isn't just making batteries, it's powering Europe's clean mobility revolution.